Welcome back to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're taking a look at my favourite deals across the Switch eShops, covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. A shout out then to Nakana Games for sponsoring today's video with their new sale and it's a good one at that so we'll be diving into that later in the video. With that though, like hit subscribe if you love the Switch, as much as we all do here, join our growing family and let's get started. So before we kick this off then we do have two winners to announce for two $10 eShop gift cards and two more to give away. Now all you need to do to enter, drop a comment down below and the winners will be announced in next week's video. 10 games for you all then today and 18 if you do throw in that Nakana sale as well. So first up then, Afici Infector Encore Edition. This is a game I personally loved. I reviewed it here on the channel, so that is linked down below in the pinned comments. A rhythm-based experience, so you'll find yourself piloting a spaceship, moving down what is essentially a three-lane track with the option to rotate in time to the music as well. I just thought it was a great blend of interesting visual design, addictive gameplay, and then of course Afici Music, who was personally involved with development. If you don't like Afici's music then I definitely wouldn't come here, that is all you're getting, but this Encore Edition then, it packs in all DLC tracks as well, I think it's worth the extra cash, and this, it's a new low here of 35% off. Next up then, Resident Evil 4, a throwback I know, but this one's been breaking the internet all week, thanks to the release of the VR Edition, and the title honestly, it's lost none of its power, 5, 6 for sure, weaker entries, but yeah, I think it's fair to call this one now a classic of the series, and if VR isn't an option, maybe check it out here. Action horror though, this one follows the end of the Umbrella Corporation, and it's a third person piece of genius. Set out though as Leon Kennedy as he attempts to save the president's daughter. It's matching the low price then with 25% off and it is quality on the go in handheld. Curve Space then is here with a new low price of 35% off. It's essentially a modernised shmup, throwing you into what is a sci-fi like world, battling it out and these locations they often twist and turn, making for an almost surreal like environment. The whole idea is the usual battle it out, climb leaderboards, find power ups and upgrades. It's kind of got a dash of roguelike to it all as well, but it's good stuff with modes including campaign arena which has challenges, survival and daily runs. This one though it knows how to drive that addiction, it's only downfall, a lack of local or online multiplayer, I feel like it would have been perfect for the game if they could have developed it. So Nakana then they have a huge sale on right now and as a publisher they work to bring the more unique to the Switch library. Now by unique that could be from its creative process to the message contained and they have 8 games for you all on sale right now. I'll be kind of highlighting a few though and expect to see two prices at the top of the screen. You've got owner and normal. That owner discount it refers to those that already have a Nakana title in their library. You're going to be getting an extra discount. So first up from them, Cosmic Top Secret, an award winning adventure asking you to uncover the truth about your parents work during the Cold War. Then we get Journey of the Broken Circle, love this one myself. It's a story driven platformer with a touching theme, you're basically a circle that wants to be complete. Another great one then is Lydia, seriously like emotionally intense. It's a brave one but it's a narrative experience of a child's memories dealing with what are drunk and broken parents. Rounding up the super cheap then we've got Infinite, Soul Searching and Echo. The final three games in a more recent release is starting with Mythic Ocean. This one is a narrative adventure where you're exploring the ocean while trying to teach the gods to create a better world. It's super relaxed stuff this one but seriously loved, you're going to find a ton of great reviews for it. Our penultimate title then from Nakana, A Night at the Races, think Twitch platformer but with a narrative, you are a player trying to win a competition, you're playing this actual video game but you're also going to be facing your own issues in and out of the game. Finally then, Still Stand, this is their newest release, it's on my list to play as well and it's getting a ton of praise. Think an interactive comic where you can interact with the world as it tackles themes such as anxiety, isolation and loss. It's winning a ton of awards and it's super super budget. Thanks again though look to Nakana for sponsoring today's video. Head to the eShop and simply type in Nakana to that search bar to see all of their games or even head to the website that's pinned in the comment down below where they actually have a giveaway currently celebrating this sale with a fair few gift cards to give away. 
So while I'm on new games then, my pick up of the week, meaning I can't necessarily recommend it, but maybe you'll want to join me for the ride. And that game is Rainbow Billy the Curse of the Leviathan. It's one I wanted to grab at release, I missed it and now we already see a nice little 30% discount. I just love the visual style of this one, it reminds me of the cartoons I grew up on with a bit more, you know, of a weird edge to it. A 2.5D adventure puzzle platform, though it's promising 30 hours of gameplay, RPG elements and then a coming of age story. This though then as well, it is a new low price. Alright so LA Noir and this one I don't think I've ever spoke to because mainly I've been waiting for a bigger price drop and it doesn't seem to be coming so here we are. But with GTA next week we gotta give Rockstar's genius detective adventure a quick shout out. At one point with this as well it was super cheap physical but it seems it's becoming just harder and harder to come by. But if you want to think GTA with a heavier focus on narrative, this is the game for you as it combines the open world exploration and gunplay you may be used to with kind of less all out there mayhem and more investigation and interrogation. Quality game and should have seen a sequel sooner. 50% off though matches the low price. Alright so while I'm on narrative and before our first winner of the week, the Silver Case 2425 is for anyone that wants something completely like out there. I played this one back in the day and then I picked up this re-release on the Nintendo Switch and honestly I liked it but it's kind of hard going, it's strange and I would probably say do about as much research as you can before you part with that cash. A slow burn, almost visual novel combined with adventure thanks to like a lot more involved gameplay but it comes from Suda51, the mad genius behind No More Heroes. This kind of shows you what his storytelling will become. It will throw you into what is a dystopian world though and ask you to figure out what the story is behind multiple suicides. It's dark stuff, it's for sure unique and again it's going to be an acquired taste. A new low then though with 25% off. Our first winner of the week then it's going to Itor who decided to spend the week working on the backlog and that's a week I definitely need myself. Congrats to Itor, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else, we still have a second winner coming up later in the video. Heading into the final three games then we're starting with XCOM 2 Collection. First I've covered it here on the channel, it's for sure not perfect. Frame rate issues throughout, they are definitely here and then it's seen some serious corners cut. That said though, gonna add here, the game struggles on most powerful PCs as well at times. As games go though, this kind of just won me over, X come in the palm of your hands. That is a winning formula for me and I think it's actually still an incredibly impressive achievement, problems and all. If you like strategy though, this is about as good as it gets in the turn based world, it is a must play. This collection though, it brings together a ton of content as you'll be following the resistance, Earth has now been overtaken. Here though, you can expect the base game, 4 DLC packs and then War of the Chosen which is a sizeable expansion. That's going to throw in alone new classes, enemies, environments and missions. This, it's a new low price then, a 75% off and it wouldn't be unreasonable to get at least 100 hours of gameplay here. Our penultimate game of the week then, Neo The World Ends With You, this is the recently released sequel, it's back matching the low price of 30% off. Now great game first of all, but if that price point is putting you off a bit, it's for sure, you know, not cheap. Know that there is a free demo on the eShop, so start there, check that out for yourself, see if it's going to be for you. It makes spending your cash a whole lot easier and more games should absolutely do it, especially when they're like AAA price points, because who remembers like demo discs from magazines, that was kind of the best back in the day. An action RPG though, it's got this beautiful visual style to it all, kind of like cell shaded almost, and it's throwing you into Shibura, Tokyo. The issue, your life is at risk as you get entered into a game called the Reaper Games. It's basically taking place in what is an alternate like reality known as the Underground. Fail and you're gonna be erased. Start with a demo as I said though, and then go from there. The second winner of the week then, Sebastian, who is holding off for Black Friday like many of you out there. Hopefully we start seeing things move. I'm already seeing Mario Kart 8 at a new all-time low price. That's 40 bucks over at Walmart. So I think this is kind of the start of things to come. Congrats so Sebastian, drop me an email to claim your code. And everyone else, drop a comment down below for your chance to win in next week's video. So our final game of the week then, Crisis Remastered is here, matching the low price with 50% off and it's one I reviewed here on the channel. I also recently covered the second and third entry as well. There is a trilogy release available which is by far the cheapest way to go, but if you're unsure, you don't want to part with all that cash immediately, maybe start here instead. It's not perfect, there's some frame rate issues throughout, but it's also known just how demanding this game goes and 
yeah, like Gexclam, it's kind of just an impressive feat to get it running in handheld, even if I will say your Switch can pro well, definitely will get a little bit toasty. The gameplay though has held up to this day an incredible first person shooter, you are in control of what is a nano suit, it essentially gives you special powers, think invincibility, uh, invisibility and power, an almost open world style to it all then and it starts as a simple rescue mission but it quickly escalates, it turns out a good old alien invasion is occurring over a set of like North Korean islands, a classic first person shooter though to this day. And that's another week down, I think things are slowing down a bit with Black Friday on the way, but still a solid little selection. Now will you be adding anything to the library this week, or are you holding onto that cash? A shout out then to the patrons of the channel, who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner, it helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Then, before we do finish this off, remember to check out Nakana's sale that is happening right now, and again I appreciate them supporting the channel, and with that, I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.